I don't have a ton of experience against Mastery Top, but the few times I've played it, it usually went pretty good if I could land E. Um, the thing is, though, you have to save your E for until he Qs. Because it's really easy for him to, like, reaction dodge your E with his Q. If you E first. I think this matchup actually got a lot harder, though, because... He gets to choose which direction to go after he uses Q. He used to just like appear behind you every time. But now you have to try to predict that. This guy had like 2.5 mil mastery too, so he's a mastery one trick. Probably knows the matchup better than I do, but we'll give it our best our best shot. Can't imagine he's too strong early game. Oh, he actually went E-start, I think. Yeah, he went E-start there. Lethal Tempo and Ignite, though, makes him kind of strong, let's be honest. That makes any champion strong. I'm running Conditioning, TP, so... Can't really win the early game. But mid-game should be on our side. Kind of wondering if I should go Ghostblade Rush in this matchup. Sounds kind of good. Because I think we just have to try to kill him before he kills me. Oh, he's dead. Okay, that was actually really close, though. Holy. Thankfully, he didn't cue my E there. Uh, What's TP back here? The wave's actually good, right? Hopefully it doesn't walk into my tower. It's okay if that one does. That's not bad. Yeah, I think we're going to do a Ghost Blade Rush here. That sounds really good. I don't really want to go, like, tanky or cleaver because... I mean, I definitely don't want to go, like, tanky. But I don't really want to go cleaver either because he's going to be so squishy. I think it's more value if I can just kill him as fast as possible. We do have flash advantage now. It'd be a really good time to gank right there. Because I held the wave like outside my tower too. But sadly our Hecarim wants to go to bot crab. Dang, that would have been a free kill if he ganked there. I should have pinged it a little bit more. Saw their jungle around top side, like top mid right now. Oh yeah, we can chunk this guy out. Just gonna run at, run at him so we can pressure with E there. Yeah, I was going to say. I can just see a way here. Can maybe kill once my E's up. I got to get one of them, right? That sound effect when Master E dies. So good. Yeah, I was completely ready for that gank because I knew Leeson was topside. That's why I wasn't going like over aggressive on the Yi there. Oh, that's right. We got Demolish. Leeson could wrap around, but I think we have a chance to kill him if he does that. They're going to go for a lane swap here. I wonder if I should change my build. I mean, Yumus will be pretty good against Swain, too, because I kind of need movement speed to, to actually, like, trade with them. Or else I just get kited out. Also, we got a sub from Boog for 28 months. Holy moly. Thank you, Boog. 
Appreciate the long term support, man. Looks like they are going for a lane swap. I really was also going to do super good against E right now, though. That's the problem with E. I feel like if you get behind, you just get rolled over. But if you get ahead, you you roll over the game. That's just how E works. Very, like, very, very feast or famine champion. If he throws out E, then we engage. Eh, okay, that's good. I'm so squishy with this build. We can go in after that ulti drops, though. Once my E's up. This would be a time, good time to go for it. Sweet. We got him. Think I push one more wave. I don't know where Lee is, though. It would be nice to crash this wave, though. That'll be a nasty freeze if I leave it. I should actually grab the plate real quick. Such a big wave. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting I'm running Demolish. Aw, oh, man. I shouldn't have hesitated on it. Now we're going to get back to lane a little bit late. I'm worth a pretty big shutdown. Let's not do anything risky. The other play that we could try to do right now, it's a little bit risky against Swain, but we could try to just farm out Yumi's and then TP back. I'm kind of leaning towards that. I just, I can't get hit by an E or we probably die. So it's pretty high risk. Okay, that's not too bad. He did the combo a little slow there. It's just really risky if they died me though. I'm kind of, well, I have my E to outplay, I guess. I want to say it's completely free. It's not completely free for them if they died me. My TP doesn't line up perfectly here. We'll have to do it next wave. This guy's getting a little bit overconfident though. Does he have flash? I can just go for the snipe here. Once his ulti's down, like, the Hecarim should be able to kill him here. I need the Hecarim to get a little bit more damage before I ulti, though. Okay, perfect. Thank you, sir. I could have ulted a little bit sooner, but you do want to wait on that ulti because the slow is based on their missing HP. So the lower they are, the more it will slow. That's why I didn't want to throw it out right away because we don't really get too much of a slow. Oh, I should use my demolish actually. I remember this time. Getting some good value out of this, actually. 1,000 demolish damage already. Nice. We'll be able to get a Kindle here, too. Actually, I'll probably go boot upgrade into Ruby. Definitely a tabby game. Okay, I actually don't have enough for Ruby. That's fine. This is still a really good buy. I'm going to TP back a little bit early and try to sneak in these bushes and go for a little little sneaky kill here. I'm really fast with the Yumi's. Did he see me? Okay, even if we get a ghost, that's really good. 
much longer cooldown than my Yumi, so I don't mind that trade. Didn't know that about the ulti? Yeah, it's really important. If somebody's full HP against Durgot, your ulti actually doesn't slow them. I think it's like 1 to 75%. Yeah, slows for 4 seconds by 1% per 1% missing health up to 75%. Oh, snap. Wow, beautiful counter gank by Melio. That was insane. Really appreciate that. Holy moly. Lisa was literally just hiding in that bush. I was not expecting that. Nice. We got a full tower. All these plates are solo. 1.3k demolish damage. This actually turned out to be really good. Demolish is like the ultimate snowball rune. If you're winning lane, it's so value. But if you lose lane, you don't really get value out of it. The nice thing about Yumi is, is we can always just run away from this guy pretty easily. I wonder if Lee Sin is... Okay, Lee Sin's at Dragon. Let's do a little wrap around here. Maybe try something with Yumi's. There's a chance he might face check through here. Perfect. Wow, that actually works out really nice if I fling him like that, because the E goes back to him. But I fling him over me, so it just dodges out the E completely. That's actually sick. I've never really done that against Swain for some reason. All right, we should be able to get tier two here. Should be easy with Demolish. Five hundred and forty-nine damage. It's a nice six hundred gold beast for us. I think we should just reset. I can just right-click a cleaver in one one go. Ooh, we could also go Titanic. That's kind of nice. Cleaver's a little bit better snowball right now, though. It is tempting when I can just click it in one go, though. I'm actually going to go for a Sterex third, and then I think we'll move into Titanic fourth. I can do, like, a full damage HP build. I don't think we'll need to buy resist with how fed I am right now. I should actually go bot lane, though, to be honest. Titanic with Yumi's? Yeah, you can do Titanic with uh, Yumi's. It's okay to have not one non-HP item. If you're really fed. Alright, we'll try to go for a flank here. Mastery is actually just killing everybody. Uh, I should have E flashed. Oh, she got the reset. I mean, I'll kill that guy. All oh, it takes is one shotgun. Nice. I kind of misplayed that a little bit. I should have just E-flashed the Trist. Saved my ulti for her. All good, though. We can just wait around here. Should be some fruits up. I don't want to reset since Dragon's spawning so soon. I 
I don't even think they're going to contest. Oh, that Master E damage, though. Holy. He's not going to get slowed in his ulti, but I think that'll kill him. Nice. And we get the cannon. Wow, he killed that Hecarim so fast. I guess that guy doesn't have tabbies. Could actually TP back in here. Kog'Maw's doing good damage, but the Swain is just healing. I feel like I'm about to get kited out here. Okay, that was actually kind of nice. She helped me dodge the Chen deal. I want to go split right now. My split push will be so strong. Oh my god, we landed that. Holy moly, dude. We're on fire this game. Feels good to snowball on Ergot. Gosh, even Baron is still down. Ghostblade feels really good when you're just like going out of control with kills. see I need a little over 2k nice he got the red buff I'm gonna see if I can sneak the buff real quick yeah now we got a double buff I'm down to go again here oh wait I could throw right now Another nice thing about Ghostblade, though, is you can, like, run out of situations pretty easily. This seems a little bit dicey. Yeah. Shut down one to Lee Sin, though. That's not too bad. I think they'll win this fight. That really is pretty strong. Auto crit and spin must be a Trindamir play. Master E doing the bulk of the damage. Yeah, we'll go Titanic next. I could either go into like, I'm gonna go Titanic into GA. I wanna do a full damage build. Actually, we could do Titanic into Holebreaker, then I get some more HP for Titanic. That actually sounds a little bit better. I don't need a Guardian Angel. I don't think we're going to die again. I'm pretty confident. If we do die again, though, I'm worth 1,000 gold. After already giving 1,000 gold, that's crazy. If they try to Baron, we still have our Teleport, so it's fine to go bot here. This is actually good. I need a better TP ward though. TPing into the pit is really bad. All right, I guess we gotta do it. I don't like this TP angle, but. Gosh, he's so fast in his ulti. He still gets feared, but he's like running away from us. So it's kind of good for him. Oh, that made it to where my auto didn't go through. He dodged it with the Q. We 
We should be able to get double inhib, I'm thinking. Nine seventy on the demolish Brock right now. Should be okay. Still got my Ghost Blade active if we need to. I think they lost all their Baron buffs, right? Oh, nice. We got Ocean Soul, too. They might have one person with the buff. Actually, no, they don't, because we aced them. That's right. So, yeah, they lost all their buffs there. At this point in the game, we kind of just want a group 5 bot. I'm so fast, dude. I think we got like 600 movement speed right there. I like when Urgot hunches over like that. He's like trying to go fast, but he knows he still weighs so much. We want to go 5 bot though because we got the double inhib down. So those waves are going to push on their own. We could have like I really a push mid I guess if she wants to but I think at this point we can just go for a dive plus we got ocean soul. I'm actually I'm really strong but I'm really beefy too right now. 401 AD but also 3.4k HP is pretty solid. Dude, 4,000 demolish damage this game. How insane is that? Just be patient, guys. Once this top wave pushes in, that's when we go for something. Oh, crap. My bad. I should have took my own advice. But this should be good. We still pumped out a pretty good amount of damage. Don't really need Holebreaker though, do I? Honestly, last item gets kind of tricky on Urgot. You can kind of do so many different things. You know, I probably would go GA last item here at this point. The game's going to end, but if it kept going, I would go Guardian Angel. All right, nice. Clean game, guys. That's how we want to be playing right there. I want to see what my tower damage was. Because 4,000 of that is from Demolish. I gotta give it to Melio for that counter gank that he had. That was actually insane. So we had 21k overall damage. And almost 14,000 14, tower damage. That's crazy, man. Demolish conditioning. Conditioning was keeping us a little bit extra tanky with that build too. That was actually nice. We didn't really need early game runes because the, the lane just went so well. Again, I thought that was actually going to be a Shen top lane, but yeah, that turned out to be really good against Master Yi. That was close on that kill where he tried to dive us, but just slightly outplayed him, and I kind of just ran away with the game off that.